Let me ask you about some of the pressures of being academics. Um, we imagine, I think, many of us that academics sit in ivory towers and don't really have to deal with the commercial pressures of the world. Um, you've shown us very clearly that that is not the case. But it's very worrying when you hear about those pressures leading to uh, imperial is not the only case, of course, but we know uh, Professor Stefan Grimm took his own life at the end of last year. And that's a demonstration that these pressures can become in the academic world unbearable. Um, professors are uh, under pressures and they have a lot on their plates. Uh, I see professors are really like small business owners. They have their own teaching to uh, to perform. They have their own research and they have their research funding to look after and they work with teams of, of postdocs and postgraduate students and then some of them uh, work on translational work and 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 develop entrepreneurial uh, uh, and and new companies and spin outs mm -hmm. I think that it and it's a very highly competitive uh, world out there uh, the collaborative nature and the way uh, we're moving towards more and more highly collaborative work I think helps because uh, one starts to recognize you can't do it all alone. You need a team. You build a team with the very best uh, <coughs> uh, colleagues. And you have not only that uh, interplay of the different backgrounds and disciplines, but you also get uh, the new ideas that are generated by bringing a pool of diverse people together. Alice, there we must leave it. Thank you very much indeed. You can listen.